Feelman? The first time that I arrived to Japan, it was when I came to sign my contract with uh, Shibuya Sunrockers. Uh, it was 2019. I remember I came with my agent, and the first place that we went to, the first thing that we did, you know, as soon as we landed, was to go to a ramen shop. You know, it was in, uh, in Shibuya. And I remember that the first thing I wanted to do, I didn't want to try anything else. I didn't want to go anywhere until, you know, I got me some good ramen. And I did it, it was amazing. And that was, the, that was my first memory that I have here in, in Japan. You know, ramen is my, it's my favorite food, you know, in Japan. First part is ramen, second is yakiniku, that is Korean barbecue. Then third, you know, I like uh, sushi, you know, I got a love-hate relation with sushi because now that I taste some really good sushi and I know the difference between high-quality sushi and everything else, you can really taste it and you can really see the difference. So it's either has to be great sushi or don't give me anything else because I don't want it. So, you know, that's, that's probably the main threes. Then they have tempura, they have all these other great chicken okonomiyaki, they have all this great food that I really like. But my top two, ramen and jakiniku. You know, in these episodes, so in you, my usual spots, I want to be talking to you all and I want to be asking questions that you might have. If you have any question, if you have anything that you want me to ask you, anything to answer to you, Anything you want to know, you know, leave some comments, you know, we're going to check it out, you know, what your questions are, so we're going to try to answer as best as we can, you know, but all these videos is for me to talk to y'all, y'all to talk to me, and to enjoy the city together, to enjoy Japan together. And here we are, but to show you there's something very curious too, how for the people outside of Japan, how they don't know how to order in the Japanese restaurants, usually got a machine outside the door, of uh, the restaurants, you know, where you choose the food that you want and you pay up front. Okay, Tommy, what do you want? This one, right? Tommy, this? This? Turi, ¿qué quieres? Any drinks? You good? Well, for people that don't know, I know a lot of Japanese people watching this, but for my foreign friends, this is the equivalent of 10 bucks. This is the equivalent of 100 bucks. This is called Ichimang. And those are the two main ones that you need to know. Everything else is okay. We went to ramen and we've already seen ramen. And I told you my first spot when I came to Japan, it was a ramen spot, but it's because I didn't know Yakiniku. This over here, I come from Avila. I come from the Chuleton. You know, look at that, we're gonna be putting a picture of what Chuleton is. That is my favorite food, and this is the closest thing that they got in Japan to Chuleton. So, you know, I recommend it to everybody. Good protein, you know, we do need the protein. This, after a long day of work, after a long game, after a long practice, after a trip, every time you get together with your friends, every time your family comes around, every time they just want to go to a place and eat some good food and drink some beer, Jakiniku is the place to go in Japan. By far, the best place. Tommy, say something. <laughs> Tommy, Tommy, is, you know, he like it very, very well done, you know. Every time we go to Jakiniku, I like mine, you know, bro. And he like his. <laughs> well, well done. So this is Tom for my beers. Really nice cut. This, uh, you know, really nice cut here in Japan. This, there is two cuts. There is one right here and one right here. Yeah. And okay. this one is very good. Everybody get your tongue off the fire. It's burning. Yeah. Okay. ¿Cuántas veces te dan un iPad para que te pidas la comida en España? Esto todavía no lo hemos visto. Esto no ha llegado. Esto todavía no lo hemos visto. Esto no me no me o a Doco. Me gusta ser el encargado de, de la parrilla. No soy no soy argentino, pero ¿por qué no me han creado? Ahí, oh, eh, pero bueno, mira esta tú. Canasta dos puntos. 
I like to make everybody happy, you know. So we're at a table and everybody's sitting and having a good time. I'm over here, you know, serving. Right now it might be look like it's smoking a little bit. All the smoke that you were seeing before, it's not because I was burning the meat. It's because they needed to tip the grill, so. Hi, <laughs> I'm I have tried both of them. Mm. I have tried horse and I have tried tight uh, cow tongue, and I do like cow tongue better. Not gonna lie, horse is good. I just you know it's something you know about eating a horse that you know you don't really want to do every day. You know, for special occasions, mm. for special occasions, it's okay. You know. If you had to pick between. Cherry blossom season uh -huh. or fall with the pretty leaves, which would you choose? I do choose, you know, cherry blossom season, it lasts only a couple days, you know. It's crazy that we've been in Japan for four years and you still haven't seen a single cherry blossom. Are you talking about me? I'm talking about you, yes. Mm. Okay. You know, and uh, it only lasts, it doesn't last too long, you know, it is beautiful. But you have to be that specific week that those cherry blossoms bloom. You gotta be there to see it. Do you think, no lies, uh -huh. do you think that Alvark has the best mascot in the league? If you had to rank a mascot. I do think that Rook is the best mascot you in the league. Do that. I do think that I really do believe that Rook yeah. is the best mascot in the league. You do? Yes, I do. It in, me just cooking from the grill with rice is something that is not common, but it's actually really, really, really good. We had a great day, you know, we worked a lot. We uh, had a lot of fun, you know, we see a lot of things and uh, we had a great day today. So thank you for everybody for watching. Thank you everybody for being here. I hope you like it, I hope you enjoy it. And I will see you in the next one, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs>